Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 weirdest unlockables in the Batman Arkham games. Okay, so we know there aren't exactly a ton of quote-unquote unlockables in the acclaimed Dark Knight game series, but given how much DLC there is between all of the games, there was enough here to warrant this kind of list. Which of these was the strangest to you? Was there one we forgot about? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Armored Suit Batman, Batman Arkham Asylum. Should be considered costumed and Normally, we would stick to tacking visually weird things on lists like this, but the armored suit skin in the first game has left us befuddled since it launched in 2009. To unlock this skin, you simply need to beat the game once. Unfortunately, it is a really lame reward for your efforts. The armored bat suit is only accessible to you in the challenge mode, and there isn't much of a difference between using this and the regular suit. In other words, all of your efforts in saving Arkham Island and foiling the Joker amount to nothing but a cosmetic. Kind of a kick in the teeth, given how bad the game's ending was. <laughs> Classic Harley Quinn, Batman Arkham Knight. Now, we're well aware that many of the suits you'll see throughout the video are references to past iterations of their respective characters. In Harley's case, we will always love and appreciate that iconic Jester suit from her debut in Batman the Animated Series. However, this suit looks pretty bizarre in Arkham Knight. We're glad to have Harley's original look in the game, but it really clashes with the chunky armored goons and overall industrial aesthetic Arkham Knight has going for itself. It just makes her look a lot more plasticky than we're comfortable with. Whoa, ah! The Extra Batmobiles, Batman Arkham Knight. Regardless of how you feel about Arkham Knight's Batmobile segments, you gotta admit that some of the designs they put out are kind of sick. Yet for every cool idea comes a couple that are... questionable. Of all the skins released for the Batmobile, the Riddler Batmobile design is the runt of the litter. Really, it's just a Batmobile with question marks vandalized all over it. What... was there really much of a difference? As for the DLC that replaces the Batmobile with its classic iterations, we love it, but what the hell, man? Playing with any of the other Batmobiles causes you to lose out on some of the Arkham Knight Batmobile's abilities, making them basically a waste of time to play around with unless you're goofing off post-campaign. In the end, they're just hackneyed novelties that you're probably just gonna play with when you're doing the challenges. Dark Knight of the Round Table, Batman Arkham Origins. Like most other superheroes and villains, Batman has seen a wealth of iterations across different time periods. The Dark Knight of the Round Table skin hails from the two-issue comic book miniseries of the same name, where Batman is given the medieval fantasy treatment. An odd corner of Bat history, yes, and even odder to see in a game like Arkham Origins. Don't get us wrong, we love that it's here, it's just a bit peculiar seeing Batman dressed in knight armor flying around a metropolis of gothic architecture. It just looks super bizarre, man. Get away from me! Red Robin, Batman Arkham City. Look, we are very well aware of who exactly Red Robin is, okay? It isn't just another version of Robin, it's a version of Robin from one of DC Comics' many, 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 many different Earths. More specifically, New Earth, aka Earth Zero, Earth Two, Prime Earth, Earth Sigma, whichever you prefer. We have nothing against this version of Robin, in fact we would argue that he looks cooler than the usual iteration we typically see in Batman media. So. How could we consider him as one of the weirdest unlockables in the Arkham games? Well, if you've been exposed to a decent amount of American television like I have, 
there's a certain restaurant chain that has forever ruined our Boy Wonder's name, and we just cannot unhear it. Red Robin. Yum. Brightest Day Batman. Batman Arkham Origins. As we've seen throughout the list, the Arkham games do pay tribute to Batman's century-long history across all of the games, but the one that makes us wish for a hilariously harder difficulty is the Brightest Day costume. As you can see, it's basically Batman decked out completely in white, just like in the Brightest Day comic series. Thing is that it makes him stick out like a sore thumb even with all the snow. If Arkham Origins was to reach a bit more realism, you would think everyone could see Batman coming a mile away with this outfit. Could have been a good way to hide a nightmare difficulty, honestly. First appearance Batman. Batman Arkham Knight. Damn, it's gonna sweep up. Anything paying tribute to the vintage Dark Knight gets the utmost respect in our books, but regardless of how casual or hardcore of a fan you might be, this this is comedy gold, man. First appearance Batman lets you run around Gotham City in his debut outfit from 1939, and it is just outrageous. It looks like some middle-aged man is running around in his old Halloween costume he's kept around since he was eight. The costume is just so absurd to look at in Arkham Knight's more realistic style that it makes the whole game look way goofier than it probably should. Was Batman? Big Head Mode, Batman Arkham City and Batman Arkham Knight. The Arkham games weren't exactly known for cheat codes, but this one managed to make Arkham City and Knight way more entertaining. In Arkham City, break out the cryptographic sequencer, hold down both triggers on the controller, and rotate the right stick clockwise and the left stick counterclockwise. Now, everyone in the game will look like giant mutated freaks, and it depletes every ounce of seriousness from the game. As we mentioned earlier, you can do this in Arkham Knight as well. Just hold both triggers and rotate the right analog stick clockwise 10 times. Bam! You got a new and totally ridiculous Batman game. Animated Series Skins Batman Arkham City I didn't need your help. Really? That's not what it looked like from where I was standing. I had it under control. Back in 2011, we were ecstatic to hear that Batman, Robin, and Catwoman would be getting outfits based on their appearances in Batman the Animated Series. We just didn't expect they would turn out the way they did. Yeah, those are definitely their Animated Series incarnations, and they look way more garish than anything else in this game. From the simplistic facial features to the overall cartoony, cel-shaded look, these outfits make Arkham City look like Who Framed Roger Rabbit in a super uncomfortable light. At least the Batman Beyond skin managed to somewhat fit in with the game's detailed look. Classic TV series skins. Batman Arkham Knight. If there is any reason to play more Arkham Knight, it's these skins. As part of Arkham Knight Season Pass, or if you bought it separately for a couple bucks each, you could play as the renditions of Batman, Robin, and Catwoman from the 1960s Batman TV series, and it turns the game <laughs> into a bit of a fever dream. Not only do we get the bad eyebrows and overall pajama look and style, we also get to kick ass with Robin's exposed legs. The only thing we're missing are those classic and zany bam, pows, and zings. Where's that at, huh? Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.